the multiplexer is having n number of in, uh, m number of inputs and to control those m number of inputs you need n number of select lines and the relation between the control signal and the input is something like m is equal to 2 to the power n where n is the select line and m is the number of inputs so this is the relation whatever we have and we need one output for the multiplexer okay so the n is the select line m is the input and one is the output so this is for the multiplexer but now if we are talking about a demultiplexer so where we can use the demultiplexer suppose i have some information and i want to distribute that information uh, to different channels uh, uh, at a different time state different instead of time or uh, based on the controllability i can decide okay so uh, the input will be one information will be one and that will be shared with all output channels based on the control signal okay so there may be some application something like where we need this kind of operation the same information can be transferred to the different different channels okay uh, at different instead of time based on the controllability okay so this is just like opposite to the multiplexer <coughs> okay so if this is the case so the multi demultiplexer has uh, one number of input and m number of output and for to control those m number of, uh, of output you need n control signal and the relation is same like this one 2 to the power n okay so let us try to see how it looks like so if i'm talking about the minimum order uh, demultiplexer is having one number of inputs there will be one control signal and that will give you two outputs o0 and o1 okay this input will be transferred to the o0 if s0 is equal to 0 okay so if if you see o0 is nothing but this is s0 bar into input okay similarly if you are talking about the o1 so this input will be transferred to the o1 if s0 is equal to 1 so you need to keep it like s0 into input so this is the relation or this is the output of o0 o and o1 for the demultiplexer okay so uh, two, one ratio two d max is the minimum order d max okay the how control signal will look like so if I, I, if s0 is equal to 0 okay in that case o0 will be in and o1 will be 0 and if s0 is equal to 1 in this case o0 is 0 and this will be the input okay so can anyone tell me how many logic gates are required for this purpose and what are the different logic gates that we need so we have the object like we need two output one control signal and one input signal okay so two input kind of signal and two output kind of signal is needed so how many logic gates are needed and what are those logic gates to implement this function step three three what are those logics so one not get and two end gates absolutely correct okay so see one not get that will give you the s0 and s bar so if i have connected s0 over here so if i am using one uh, not get then that will give you the uh, s0 bar okay and uh, we need to end because if you see the first term in the first term i need to end with the s0 bar in the input okay so i need one end one end gate that will and s complement s0 complement and the input so here i will have like this the input will be ended with the s0 bar and the second one is like we need so that will give you the o0 and the second one is like i need to end s0 with the input and that will give you the o1 and this is all, all about how the dmux will look like like one ratio two dmux will look like okay so this is how it is decided so uh, the based on this select line uh, the input is transferred to either to the uh, to the o0 or to the o1 so see if uh, s0 is equal to 1 okay so if s0 is equal to 1 this will become 0 so even though there is some change in the input okay 0 1 0 1 1 something like that even though there is some change in the input 
output will always be zero. Okay, but if because I have provided s zero is equal to one, so I have kept this is one. <coughs> okay, so if it is one, so whatever the input I will get, that will be passed as it is. Okay, so that so we have already seen it how it can be inhabited or how it, how it can be uh, uh, transfer or it can be something like that. So we already know all these things. So zero one zero one one will I will get something like this. Okay, so this is how it is simple. Okay, any doubt on this? Anyone? If you have any doubt, you can ask the question. Otherwise, we can move ahead with the uh, the bigger circuit. Okay, so suppose let us consider. I want to make some one to four kind of dim multiplexer with the enable signal. Yes, if you recall the previous one here, uh, we have not considered the enable signal. Okay, but sometimes enable is also required. Uh, we have seen in the multiplexer decoder, like if I want to uh, make a bigger, like uh, higher order multiplexer or decoder, in that case, enable play a major role and that can also act as a control signal. Okay, so enable is very important, especially even though there are some change in the input, uh, the output will not be reflected if it is not enabled. Okay, so if you want to uh, block some data without any, uh, like, uh, uh, and the data should be transferred only if the instructions are there. So in that case, enable play a major role. Okay, so uh, if I want to make one to four D multiplexer, uh, with the enable signal, so how it it will look like? Yes, I will have one enable signal that will decide whether I have to activate this demultiplexer or not. I will have one input, and uh, there will, will be two control signals because I need four number of outputs. So accordingly, I need two control signals. Okay, so the two control signal will decide uh, the total outputs will be four. Okay, now let us try to make the truth table of this one. So there is one more one one uh, enable signal. So if enable is equal to one, okay. So if enable is equal to one, then what will happen? If enable is equal to one, and if s zero and s one are anything like zero 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 one one zero and one one, it does not matter. Output will always be zero. Okay. So the output, all the outputs will be zero if the enable is one because if you see here this enable is nothing but this is the active low kind of okay so this is the active low enable so this dmux will be enabled if the logic low is provided to the enable signal okay so let us try to provide the logic low to the enable signal so that will be zero 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 because i have a two control signal so total four possibilities are there and those possibilities are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So these four are the possibilities. Now let us try to see uh, which of the output will be activated. Okay. So if 0, 0 are there, so the input should be transferred to the O0. So, okay. So the input should be here, rest all other output should be 0. If 0, 1 is there, so the input should be transferred to the O1 and rest all other should be zero and so on okay the two table will look like this one okay now <clears throat> can anyone comment uh, how many logic gates are needed for this purpose of any order six, six number of logic gates how How you decided it is six? Two not or four end gate. Two not and four end gate. Okay. Two not for A0 and S1, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And four end gate to this one. Yes, this is correct. But uh, if we have the enable, like if you want to make the enable signal, so you may need one inverter for enabling as well. Okay, so if E is equal to zero, then it should pass. And if E is equal to one, then it should not pass, something like that. Okay, so the enable signal is also required one inverter. So the total three inverter will be required and four AND gate will be uh, for output. So let us try to see how the 
circuit will look like. So I will have one S1. S1 uh, will also require one inverter, okay, to make it uh, S1 complement. Then S0, S0 complement, enable and complement. So what it means? It means that if I will provide zero, then it will give one, then, then uh, the circuit which are connected that will be activated. And it, if it is one, then it will give you zero. So the output will always be zero. So one inverter is also required to enable these things. Okay. Now for AND gate is required. Yeah, you know that like this is the combination zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Uh, and I have to connect accordingly and I will get the uh, things. So achha, one more thing I just wanted to ask. What is the order of input in the AND gate? How many inputs should be there in the AND gate to implement this logic? You just, yeah. Huh? Sir, three inputs. Three, three input. Okay. Four. Four. Okay. Yes, sir. Four, four. One enable also. Okay. So, one input is required for the input to connect the input. Two inputs are required for the control signals. And one input is also required for the enabling. So, four input AND gate is required here. Okay. The four input AND gate is required based on this one. Okay. So I will have three input that will be connected to the <clears throat> S1 bar, S0 bar and E, E bar and one input to the input. Similarly, so that will give you the O0 uh, and, and based on the truth table, you can just directly connect to the 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and that will give you the O0, O1, O2 and O3. Okay. So this is how the circuit will look like for the 1, 2, for D multiplexer with enable signal. Okay. And this is how the inputs will be connected. Yeah. All the inputs will be tied at the same node. Okay. So the input will be like this. And yeah, this is the module for one to four D multiplexer. So if you have any doubt at this point of time, you can ask the questions now. Okay. So <clears throat> I think it's easy, not that much difficult. So a few tutorial questions that uh, design a one to eight line demultiplexer, construct a one to four line DMUX using one to two line DMUX. Yes, the approach will be same, like uh, whatever we did uh, uh, for others, like multiplexer and demultiplexer, uh, the, the concept will be same. The similar way you can also design like this. So I'm just giving you the homework. Just try to solve all these four problems uh, to design a different kind of demultiplexer with the this one. So uh, with the low order DMUX, you need to design the high order DMUX. Okay. So just try to try to check it out, and then you will get to know how you, we can do that. Okay, so if we try to get uh, some information like how we can do that, if you see like, like this second number problem, problem number two. So problem two, how you can design this one? Because you have a two raised to one marks. So if you see two raised to one marks, two raised to one marks is like, uh, I have one input, one control signal and two outputs. And I have another two raised to one marks, one input, one control signal and two outputs. And if I have to construct for one raised to four, Okay, one raised to four means one input, four output and two control signals. Okay. <clears throat> so if I connect these two directly, I'm just giving that if I connect these two. So, and based on this control, uh, these select lines, either it will transfer to this one and this one, but I have to use only one. Okay. And of course the control lines should be two because here I have a one control lines. Okay, so if I'm connecting this, this, this to the same one, so the same control line will be there. Now you can use the enable signal as a, one of the control signal. Okay, enable can also be used as a, as a one control signal uh, that will be connected after, after an inverter. Okay, and this is the enable. Okay, so might be this is all about how you can make it. Just this is what you have already done it for the 
d max max uh, sorry uh, decoder multiplex and other thing so this is easily doable it's not difficult actually okay so you can do here also the same formula was m by n yes 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 the similar kind of formula will be applicable for all the designing okay fine so <clears throat> this is all about the uh, tutorial question you just do it okay uh yeah the next one is let us try to finish few things uh the combinational circuit using the demultiplexer suppose if i have a combinational logic circuit and i want to uh implement the uh, with the help of demultiplexer so how it could be done okay so for that purpose uh, we know that like th this is the similar kind of concept that we did for the decoder based on the decoder we designed some of the logic function okay so let us try to see uh, let us try to implement the full data circuit with the help of the multiplexer in the r gate so we know that for the uh, full adder the expressions are like this okay so the, if the expressions are like this like sum and carry are given like this one two four and seven are the min term for the sum and uh, for carry if we have the min term like three five six and seven so what will happen uh let us try to design it i have one in input line i will have one enable line i will have three control signals accordingly uh, o0 o1 o2 o3 o4 o5 will, will be selected and because we need to use r gate so uh what i need to do i, I have to the sop form this is nothing but this is the sop form okay sop form means what uh, uh summation of one one means x y z x bar y bar z bar plus two means uh, x bar y z bar four means uh, x y bar z bar plus seven means x y z so this is nothing but this is the sum if you expand this one this looks like this one based on the mean term okay so what you need to do you need to or this one plus sign indicates the oring okay so plus sign ek indicates oring what it means i have to or 1 2 5 and 7 okay and this is how we can do that this simply indicates what we have done 1 2 uh, 4 and 7 has been or and this symbol simply indicates uh, because we have already seen it before so suppose i have one uh, 1 2 3 4 let us assume a b c and d are there so this is same as okay so this is same this both are the same so this is how you can make it and similarly if you want to make it for the carry so the the for carry it will look like this one so three, five, six, and seven need to be R to get it. Okay. So yeah, this is how it is. Yeah, and then then you have to connect this enable to the ground. Okay. So this is how you can implement it. It's it's very simple, not that much stuff. Okay. Yeah. So this is all about the uh, data processing circuits. <clears throat> and if you have any doubt at any point of time. Uh, you can ask the questions now. Sir, in these yeah. slides, O0, O1 are the outputs. So, sir, it will be same as inputs in this. O where? Uh, in the input. Uh, O0 will be input when XYZ will be has certain value and then O1 and O2. Yes, that yes. will happen. Ha, so, ha, ha. how can it represent uh, the mean terms? Adding them. Yeah, so let, let, let me explain it. So Ring means the, the R is like if I have a two variable A and B, and if I am Ring these two, let us assume I am giving it to the R gate. So the expression is A plus B, where this is one of the term and this is one of the term, where the plus symbol indicates I have to R it. Okay. So if we expand this expression for sum, okay, so this is nothing but the one min term can be represented like this one x bar y bar z two can be represented like this three can be represented like this uh, four can be represented like this and seven can be represented like this so what i have to do this plus symbol indicates i have to use r gate 
So even though any one of this is high, output will always be high. Okay, either one, min term one, or like uh, uh, this combination is one, or this one is one, or this is one, this is one. In all any of the cases, you will get always some will be one. Okay, and this is what it indicates. So plus indicates like see here. For example, uh, uh, you, if you see the truth table of the sum and the carry, so how it looks like, let me try to make it A, B, C. So it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. So this is all about input. And if you talk about sum and carry, the sum and carries are like 0, uh, 0, sum will be 1, carry will be yeah, so we know that 1, 2, 4, and 7 is high. So 1, 2, uh, 4, and 7 is high. Rest all other are 0. And for carry, 3, 5, 6, and 7 are high. So 3, 5, 6, 7 are high. Rest all other are 0. So what it, it simply indicates that even though uh, if the first mean term is 1, so this mean term is 1. Yeah, if this is one as one is like the first midterm is one i should get some should be one if this is two is one then i should get this is one okay so if if, if the combination of one mean term or single mean term uh, are high then output should always be high for the sum okay this is logical kind of thing you got the point what i'm saying Yes, sir. So we are just assuming it to be O1, O2, O4, and O7 as any one of them can be one. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. If any of these, like, see, if I have decided, let us assume I have decided 0, 0, 1. Okay, x, y, z is 0, 0, 1. What it indicates? It indicates uh, one min term should be selected. So this will be selected. Okay, so if this is selected, what it means? Uh, this will directly, uh, all, if, even though, see, if this is selected, what it means? Other terms are zero. Okay, all other terms are zero. So even though if I have selected O1 and if O1 is equal to one, as I have kept, uh, yes, one more important thing. This input should also be logic high. That is why yes, you will sir, get that's, yes. that's my yes. point. Yeah, so the input should always also be logic high. If input is at logic high, then you will get something like this. Okay, because input is going to be transferred. So yes. Uh, this point i think i missed so input should be high okay. and accordingly you will sum up okay doubt is clear yes sir okay 